Should you use a general store or a niche store for print on demand? In this video, we're gonna break down the pros and cons of both general stores and niche stores, talk about which one you should use and why you should use it. That's coming up. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching today. If you're a new here and we have not met before, my name's Kerry. I'm the founder of Shirt School and I created this channel to bring you the best strategies, secrets, and hacks to grow your online t-shirt, apparel, or print-on-demand business. Today we're asking the age-old question, general store or niche store? And another way of putting it that I hear a lot is, can I have multiple niches in one store? Now, as somebody who teaches people how to start and launch and grow online apparel businesses, my students are constantly asking if I can have two niches in one store, multiple niches, uh, should I only sell in one niche, and trying to figure out that whole thing. So today, I'm not only gonna define what a general store is and a niche store, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of each and talk about what I recommend and how I think you should do it. First, let's take a look at a few general stores and a few niche stores so you can see the difference. First up, one of the best examples of a general store that I could possibly give you, love them or hate them, walmart.com. So this is the perfect example of a general store. It's a super old company that sells everything. Clothing, groceries, toiletries, TVs, electronics, furniture, they sell it all. I don't have to go too far for you to kind of understand. This is the perfect example of a general store. You can sell anything you want. Another example, probably you know the biggest online, is Amazon.com. Very similar to Walmart, but they operate 100% online. They sell everything. Again, I don't have to do a detailed explanation. You're seeing some of the products that, that we are often frequenting here in the Eggler household but they sell everything, right? They got started with books, now they sell clothing and electronics and anything that you could possibly need. And that's the perfect example of a general store. Now let's look at a few examples of niche stores. Now I'm gonna use three examples that are all Shirt School students. Shirt School is our signature uh, online program. It's an online course, an A to Z kind of blueprint uh, for starting and launching an online apparel business. Um, we have thousands of students these are three of our students and they have great niche stores and that's why I wanted to highlight them. The first one here is Hunt Hook Eat. And you can see they actually have kind of three niches that are all very to the very similar, a very similar target customer. Uh, so hunting, uh, fishing, and eating, right? And the niche that is kind of taken off in their store is the eat niche. Uh, not really eating, but grilling, cooking, that kind of stuff. So you can see everything's focused around these few niches here. And again, it's all kind of to that same customer, right? It's probably that dad or, you know, 25, 30 to maybe 55, 60 year old man that loves to cook and loves to hunt and loves to fish and that kind of thing. And this store is super successful in their niche. The next one I want to look at is runnerisms.com. I have the, uh, I have reviewed this store on the channel before. Again, another one of our students. It's all around running, right? Everything is focused around running. They're not they're not selling everything under the sun. They are selling just apparel and different products around the running niche. And again, they are very successful with this. And the last one I look at is mini bike apparel. Um, another one of our very successful students. Everything in this store is around not only mini bikes, but around kind of the do it yourself or the guy that wants to tinker with things and work on things. It's a very cool niche and he's had a lot of success in this niche. And these are three examples of niche stores. They're mainly focused on one niche or a few niches that could all cater to the same person, right? All any either any of these stores that I've shown you here that have they kind of have more than one niche, they're gonna be focused down to one specific person that would probably be interested in all those niches. So for example, in the hunt, hunt, hook, eat, they wouldn't wanna have, you know, hunt, hook, and sew, right? Because the people who want to hunt and fish probably don't sew. So all of these niches are very related and they really speak to the same target person. Let's talk about some of the pros of having a general store. 
Number one, you can sell whatever you want. There's no restrictions. You can put any product, you can put any niche, you can put really anything you want. If you're somebody who just has a brain that's just like all over the place, you got a lot of ideas, you can put whatever you want into a general store. It doesn't necessarily have to make sense. Number two, a general store is great for testing out products. A strategy that a lot of, of people teach is that you can start with the general store and you can test out a lot of different products. When we're talking about print on demand or apparel, you can test out a lot of different niches, a lot of different t-shirts and find one that really takes off and then you could transition over to a niche store. So it is great for testing, right? And finding what products, what designs are really gonna hit with the market, are really gonna take off and then go and take that feedback and put it into a niche store. And the last pro is it's good for beginners. If you're somebody who you don't, you have no idea what niche you wanna go into um, and you've got a lot of ideas, it might be a good place to start, to, to just start up a general store. Having, finding the right niche should not be something that prevents you from taking action and prevents you from getting started. So if you just cannot land on a niche, it might be a good idea just to start up a niche, uh, general store and start seeing if you can get some sales, testing out some different products, and just finding what's gonna work for you and what you enjoy. One of the biggest cons of having a general store is you're competing with the Walmarts and the Amazons and the Targets of the world. These huge companies that have bajillions of dollars and bajillions of sales and very crazy brand recognition, everybody knows who they are. You put yourself in the direct fire of these companies and you're trying to compete on that level. And that is one of the biggest disadvantages of trying to have a general store is that you're the same as some of these other places. And why would somebody choose your tiny general store over an Amazon or a you know, Walmart or any of these websites? The answer is for a general store to work, you need to have a unique selling proposition. What does that mean? You need to have some unique aspect of your general store that makes you stand out from the crowd. Let me give you an example of that. What we're looking at here is $6shirts.com. Now I've been asked numerous times because I teach that you should have a niche store. I have so many people ask me, well, what about $6shirts.com? Why are they successful? They asked me that and asked me that and I'm like, oh my gosh, why is $6 shirts successful? Well, let me tell you, they have a unique selling proposition. Why would I buy from $6shirts.com as opposed to Walmart or Target or Amazon? Well, all the shirts are six bucks, right? They have a unique selling proposition. They are different from the Walmart, the Target, the Amazon, and, and really any other website because of their pricing model. So even though they have all of these different t-shirts, uh, different designs, they are all $6. So that's a really great deal, right? And they even have these bundle deals uh, where you can get like a bunch of shirts for, you know, 15 bucks or something. You can get like six shirts for, here we go, 10 tees for 55 bucks. Couldn't remember what it was. 10 tees for 55 bucks, right? That saves them a ton of money on shipping. And the way that they probably make money is most of their customers order more than one t-shirt. So they make more money based off of how many t-shirts you order. But the reason the store is successful, number one, they only sell t-shirts, which is great, right? They're niching down a little bit that way. And number two, they've got a very unique selling proposition, $6 for a t-shirt or uh, tees for, they also have tees for $9, they have tees for $12, so very inexpensive t-shirts. And then they have these bundle deals, they incentivize you to spend more money, 10 tees for 55 bucks. It's very unique and I think it's a cool business model. So the moral of the story for general stores, if you want to have success, is you do need to have a unique selling proposition, a unique way to position yourself to really stand out from the crowd. But they are great sometimes for testing out products, figuring out what's gonna sell and then taking that and creating a niche store. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, would you do me a quick favor? Just take one quick second, hit that like button. That's gonna tell YouTube that this video, that people like it, and they're gonna show it to more people. So the way that we get this content out to more people is by you just hitting that like button. And also leave me a comment down below. What do you think about general versus niche store? Do you have a general store or a niche store? I'd love to know down in the comments. All right, now we're getting into the good stuff. Let's talk about the pros of having a niched down store. Number one, you're gonna have a more branded feel, right? You can brand your niche store and you can have your own clothing brand 
which is very cool. Most people are like, I wanna start my own brand. You can do that with a, with a niche store. And most times, a niche style store is gonna look and feel more branded, which is gonna create a better relationship with your customers because of that branded feeling. Number two, there's a higher level of trust because you become the expert or the go-to place for apparel in your niche. People are going to come back to you because they say that company is the go-to place for t-shirts in this niche, right? We took a look at Runnerisms. We took a look at Mini Bike Apparel. They become the expert and the go-to shop for that niche. If I want a Mini Bike shirt, I'm gonna go hit up Mini Bike Apparel. Or if I want a running shirt, I'm gonna go hit up Runnerisms.com because it is that branded, great relationship, higher level of trust, because I think they're the experts, right? Why would I go anywhere else? Because runnerisms.com is the expert in that niche. It's the same reason we go to the coffee shop to get high quality coffee, or we go to a specialized doctor, like an ear doctor or a throat doctor, when we have something specific that we need in that area, instead of going to the general doctor just for a checkup. Number three, it's easier to target your customers with paid ads and really just in general. When you have a niche down store, it is a lot easier for you as the marketer or as the business owner to identify who your customers are. When you think about something like Facebook and Instagram ads, you can literally just put in the niche and find your customers. It makes it a lot easier to make sales. When you have a general store, you're just kind of throwing the net out and just saying, hey, these are for everybody, whoever wants them wants them. So having a niche store makes it a lot easier for you to market and make sales. And the number four advantage is most times you know more about the niche. You have a passion for that niche. So one of the things we teach is that you should pick a niche that you are passionate in, that you also have a little bit of knowledge in, because that's going to make your whole content strategy a lot easier. When you go out and you're trying to figure out what to post on Instagram or what to put on an ad or what kind of content to create, when you're passionate about something and you know a little bit about it, it's gonna be a lot easier to create that content. For me, I'm passionate about, let's say the guitar, right? I could probably talk about the guitar for hours. So when I wanna go create content around guitars, it's very easy for me to come up with that content. And in addition, it is something that you're passionate about, right? If I had a guitar brand, I'm passionate about guitars. So it's easy for me to get out of bed in the morning. I want to go work onto my business. If I just started up a business about cats, I don't like cats. So it wouldn't, it would be hard for me to get out of bed and go work on my cat t-shirt business because I just don't like cats, right? So generally when it's a niche store, you pick something that you like, that you have some passion about, and you also have some knowledge about. It makes it easier to create content and it makes it something that you really enjoy in the long term. Hey, do you wanna learn more about how to pick the right niche? Pick something you love? Pick something that's profitable and learn how to build out an online t-shirt or apparel business that gets you sales on autopilot and starts to create some of that freedom that we all desire as online business owners. Well, if that sounds like you, I wanna invite you to head over to shirtschool.com and watch our free 60 minute masterclass called How to Sell Thousands of T-Shirts and Apparel Products Without Buying Inventory, Without Knowing Marketing, Without uh, Being Super Creative. It's a 60 minute class where I break down our shirt school system. Everything from how to design, how to pick a niche, how to um, market and sell Facebook ads. There's a lot of great info in there. And at the end, I'll give you an opportunity to join the Shirt School family. We have thousands of students from around the globe, many of which are six and seven figure earners. It's an amazing program, an amazing community. I'd love for you to check it out. Head over to shirtschool.com to take a quick watch at that masterclass. Hope to see you inside.